The Renegade is Jeep's interpretation of what a small SUV really should be. It's certainly very different from its segment rivals, and now more competitive with them too, thanks to this mid-term upgrade. As before, quirky looks and characterful detailing hide conventional Fiat underpinnings, but four-wheel drive is an option further up the range, where there's off-road prowess surpassing anything else in the segment. It won't appeal to everyone, but if you like it, you'll probably love it. The Renegade thumbs its nose at convention in the small SUV class in lots of ways. Its styling, the continuing availability of diesel engines, a rare 4x4 option and so on. But it couldn't afford to ignore the segment demand for a small, downsized, entry-level three-cylinder petrol engine. So with this revised model, that's what we've got. The 120 horsepower, one litre, green pump fueled three-cylinder unit we're trying here. It's decently efficient, managing 46.3 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 138 grams per kilometre of CO2. But unless you'll be mostly using your Renegade over short-run commuting trips, you might feel that this unit's modest 190 newton metre torque figure struggles a little with the 1,320 kilo curb weight. If that's the case, there are plenty of other options. In the front-driven section of the range, there's another fresh petrol engine, a 150 horsepower, 1.3 litre power plant, offered only mated to six-speed DDCT dual-clutch auto transmission. Or you can continue to choose the brand's 1.6 litre, 120 horsepower, multi-jet two diesel unit, available with either a manual or an auto gearbox. Beyond that lie the four-wheel drive variants, all of which feature the two-litre multi-jet two diesel power. Mainstream Renegade 4x4 variants use the two-litre diesel in 140 horsepower form and offer the choice of a six-speed manual or nine-speed auto transmission. They feature the brand's capable Jeep Active Drive system, which is paired to a select terrain setup, which allows you to tailor drive characteristics based on the terrain you're driving across. There's also the top option of a flagship Trailhawk derivative, which offers a 170 horsepower version of the two litre diesel mated to auto transmission and a low range gearbox for really gnarly terrain. On the road, this Jeep inevitably isn't quite as responsive as more tarmac orientated rival, small Duke genre crossover models would be, but the firm ride and measured handling responses in some way constitute part of its charm. Arguably, it's all part of the authenticity that should be part of the whole Renegade experience. Whatever you think of the stylized compact crossover segment, it certainly brought us some interesting pieces of design. Here's a case in point. This Renegade's rugged squarical shape with its short overhangs and beefy bumpers is classic Jeep, as is the signature seven-slot grille flanked by circular headlights that are tucked slightly under the leading edge of the aluminium bonnet for a more contemporary look. Those two last features have been tweaked as part of this mid-term upgrade. The grille now has a smarter cut-in silhouette similar to that of the latest Wrangler, while on plusher versions the round headlights look particularly Mercedes Galandawagon-esque when fitted out with these full LED beams. This lower bumper area has also been completely revised and these corner cutout sections added. Inside, the cabin of this revised Renegade is much as it was, aside from a couple of key upgrades. There's a smart redesign for the lower part of this centre stack, but the key change is the adoption of this larger 8.4-inch Uconnect centre dash infotainment screen, a standard feature providing you avoid entry-level trim. As well as all the usual media features, this monitor even includes a Jeep skills section that aims to offer real-time feedback on your off-road driving abilities. There are some characterful interior touches too, all of them aiming to replicate the charm of the exterior panel work. And you can colour coordinate the trim surrounding the fascia vents, the gear stick and the speaker covers. Top models like this one also get a 7-inch TFT colour screen between the instrument dials. Take a seat in the back and the first thing you notice is the vast headroom enabled by the boxy shape. There's certainly decent space for two, but three adults would need to be on personable terms over a longer trip, particularly given that legroom is as restricted as it usually is in this class of SUV. 
Let's finish off with a look at luggage space. Now, we'd expected the squarical styling and longer than average vehicle length to deliver class leading standards of space. But in fact, the chunky tailgate rises to reveal one of the smaller boots in the compact crossover segment. This one, 351 litres in size. Once you've folded everything flat, 1,297 litres of carriage capacity is opened up. This Renegade has brought a long overdue dose of credibility to the compact SUV segment. Here, you get plenty of style in a bluff, tough Jeep kind of way, but there's decent substance behind that too, with near family-sized practicality and even the potential for some reasonable off-road prowess if you're prepared to pay for it. So, you get a little more than you might expect to from this class of car, which is just as well given premium pricing that lifts this Jeep well clear of cheaper offerings in the Duke genre. Ultimately, what's important here is that Jeep has a fresh direction and a relevant product to offer buyers who never previously would have considered one of its cars. These people will like the fact that in a sea of compact crossovers, this one's very different from the norm. A renegade, if you like, just as every Jeep should be.